Hi, welcome to our Ajax multi-file uploader tutorial. This will be an application which you, uh, users can use to upload multiple files on the server. Uh, we will use JavaScript on the on the uh, on the browser, and the server will have PHP as a module. So we will work with these two languages, and uh, uh, we will learn uh, to upload multiple files on the server with PHP on the backend. We will see how we can give it an Ajax look by using invisible iframe, and we will also communicate to the main windows document from within an iframe and how to do that we will see that and we will check the images uh, file type on the server uh, with PHP and we will create thumbnails of images that we will upload and uh, to do the up, uh, the thumbnail thingy you need to make sure that you have GD library installed in your PHP installation and if you have installed any package like vamp or lamp they will be installed uh, the GD library library will be there. I'm using XAMPP, which is uh, which happens to be used in Windows and uh, Macs. You can also have uh, MAMP as a package of Apache, MySQL, and PHP. MAMP also has the GD library. I think so. So, uh, but it's better to check it out. You can just write a PHP in full page, and you will get the uh, details. So we will uh, on the on the client we will start off by creating an, a dynamic form. By dynamic form, I mean the user can add as many fields as it wants, as many files as it wants, and can delete any unnecessary fields it has added. So we will create an input file, uh, input field with fi file, and the name should be. This is a tricky bit. You can name it anything, but remember to include this array symbol at the end. What this does, this is a PHP feature, and uh, this is uh, this uh, uh, this decreases the hassle of naming each field differently, differently to get the reference to them. So, what this will do is, if we have multiple fields with this name, all of them will be inside an array on PHP. So we will get an easy reference to them. All right, and the next thing will be a button, and its name will be add file. This will let the user add more fields to this form. And the value will be add, add more file. And uh, to make it work, we need to assign an event handler. What the hell? And the event handler is window dot add file. And we will pass the button element as well. And at the end, we will have the submit button. Tough. Type equal submit. Its value will be upload. Its name will also be uh, upload. All right. I will just use a VR tag. You can use any uh, styling techniques you want. You can put this inside an uh, inside a table or something, or use CSS divs. You can do it anyway. I'm just going to show you the idea. So let's see how our basic form looks like. So here is our basic form with add more files button but which doesn't do anything yet. So for it to work we need to define the event handler we assign to it which is add file. So we will define this function add file and it passes the add button uh, add, add file button. and uh, we, will, we will add the fields to this form so the fields will uh, have the form element as their parent so to, to append this uh, parent we need to get the reference to this so for that you can assign, it, assign a name to this form upload form and you can get the reference to this by using that name so you can do it like document and then dot that form's name which happens to be upload form but I prefer using the associative array uh, option and this will give us the reference to the form next we need to create the input tag by using the DOM creation method create element and we need to assign the type which is file and the name should be the same for all the fields so which is files and their empty array symbol and then we need to create a remove button which will let the user delete the unnecessary fields if it has created one uh, created unnecessary fields it don't need it 
just remove this uh, them by using this button so rb dot type will be button and rb dot uh, value will be remove file and now we need to add these elements to our form I'm using insert before method because I want the elements to be added just before this add more file button here just about here so every new element that will be created using this application will be here just before the add file button so insert before method takes a new element first and the old element which is our add file button that we have passed in our function as a parameter and now I'm going to add the PR tag uh, sorry the remove button using the same thing RB and at the end I'm going to add a BR tag as well to get the layout going document.create element and I will just create a simple BR tag here so now let's see if it works you can see I can add as many elements I want you can also set a limit to this by simply altering few uh, things in this script but you can see the remove button doesn't work so we can uh, make it work work again by assigning an event handler function and this event handler will delete the fields that user do doesn't want so first uh, we need to delete every element that we created corresponding to this remove button so with re the remove button we created the file field and the br tag so first uh, we'll delete the file field then the br tag and at the end we will create uh, delete the remove button as well so uh, we have the parent and we are going to remove its child uh, and the first child will be the previous sibling which is our files field uh, previous sibling these are node iterators and they are used uh, not uh, used very often because uh, in uh, in browsers like Firefox they will give you references to let's say if you want to get the next sibling of head uh, element you will get a return key because uh, <coughs> because the Firefox considers spaces and uh, return keys as valid elements of the page so that's why you'll get a return key on uh, Firefox so uh, it's better not, um, not to use them but v uh, until you are sure that the next element will be the element that you are looking for because we are adding them in JavaScript we don't have any spaces between these elements that's why we will get the correct element by using these editors so at the end I'm going to delete PR, uh, the remove button tag as well so previous sibling gave me the file next sibling gave me the br tag that we added at the end and this key will give me uh, this uh, variable will give me rb uh, the remove button so save it and let's go back and see if it works so I can add as many files as I want can I remove them yes I can remove them so this is the basic application uh, the client side of the application now we will go to the server side we will create a iframe and submit the form and give it an ages look so keep watching watch the next tutorial for server side script thank you